Jabril Mines, the College of Women, Mary, uh, outside linebacker, number 10. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, first time I actually got notice of I was on the list, my coaches uh, had sent me a message on Twitter, and I seen it, you know, and uh, it, was, it was a privilege to be on there with some of the names that were on there. I know some of the guys from my uh, own conference. That was a great, you know, privilege. And, um, you know, I always have, you know, team goals and different things, but, you know, my one of my individual goals, you know, was to try to get a little notice, get a little, you know, uh, preseason awards and things. This year I was able to uh, get this one, so I was quite honored to be able to uh, select it for this list. Oh, wow, that's amazing to be mentioned in the same category with guys like that. Uh, I have a lot of respect, you know, seeing those guys out there in the previous few years in college football, uh, seeing their names, you know, on top of list and things. So just to be in the same category of mention with those guys is, is an honor once again. Uh, I would say, you know, one of the main things I would bring to the table, and I would hope every other guy, you know, says leadership. But uh, when I come on the field, I try to bring, you know, the whole group together, you know, as as one every time I go out there. You know, I try to keep everyone mentally focused, you know, and ready to go. Uh, physical abilities, from myself speaking, uh, I have a lot of, you know, tenacity, you know, and just, just it. The coaches sometimes say they call it. <laughs> when I go out there, I play hard as I can every play, you know. Uh, I try to make plays every time I have the opportunity, uh, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the biggest linebacker, but kind of a smaller linebacker, so uh, it gives me the ability to run a lot. You know, I try to use my speed to get me in and out of situations a lot, uh, coverage in, or if it's like beating a block or something, I try to use my speed getting over top or under a block. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Women Mary is known for its academics. Uh, this has been. You know, when I first got here, I knew, uh, you know, that this was going to be a tough school academically. So both here, I'm challenged both athletically and academically here. On um, both sides of it, I'm really challenged. But you know, academically, I'm a kinesiology health science major. So each one of my teachers, you know, they, they get to know you because they've been to the games and stuff. And they, they challenge you quite well in the classroom. They know that, you know, on the field we have, you know, the, the, the push and the drive to do it. So they expect the same things in the classroom. So... For a student athlete here, it's you know, it's no, it's no let down, no let up at all academically. Uh, we're we're challenged, you know, to the full maximum, just like any other student. And uh, the opportunity here, just by getting a degree from here, speaks for itself. And a lot of guys, that's the reason why we come to a school like this. Oh uh, yeah, Winsburg, uh, or just the Winsburg area in the whole is a very historic area. Uh, the campus is kind of right in the middle of it. Uh, we have some of our buildings, you know, are the oldest buildings ever, you know, built. We were one of the first colleges uh, behind uh, Harvard, and uh, you got we have a building called the Rent, which is very historical. And uh, uh, some of our presidents, you know, Thomas Jefferson, have actually attended this school, so that makes our school very historical. And right across from our campus, we have our uh, Colonial Williamsburg, and if you go down here, you can kind of go back in time and see how things were back in the colony days, and that is quite interesting for people who haven't been able to, you know, visit that or even come here. Uh, just the historical nature of this place kind of gives you like a little chill when you walk on it. Sometimes you see things, and every building on our campus is built from the same type of brick, uh, which makes it interesting. And um, every, you know, walkway is made of bricks. Uh, we have what you call the sunken gardens, which is kind of historic. It's kind of a garden sunken down to the ground. Like, you know, um, students just come out and just sit around, you know, between classes and different things. We have what you call uh, Crimdale. Little uh, little creek, I guess, on that campus is very historic. Yeah, you got a bridge to go across it, and kind of say if you if a, if a male and a female walk across it, uh, they'll kind of get married. So we got that kind of little, you know, just going with it. But it's, it's a very beautiful campus. Uh, favorite places on campus, uh, I would say, uh, like I said, the Sunken Gardens already. I go there sometimes, you know, between classes. If I got a break, I might just sit down in the Sunken Gardens. You see people throwing frisbee, just doing things, having fun out there. Also, we have what's called uh, the Salad Center. Uh, you can go there. They got like a little game room down in the bottom. You can play games, or you can just sit around and lounge. And a lot of times they have activities and different things in there. Uh, if I'm going to grab something to eat, we got we got a little deli called Paul's Deli, which is right across, like on the corner of our campus. And uh, you can go in there, and I love to get their sandwiches. They have some of the best sandwiches you can ask for. Ah, uh, I sing on that gospel choir here at campus. Uh, I love singing. If you ask any guy on the team, I'm always. Going around singing, I uh, just kind of lighten up the mood a lot of the time, but I enjoy singing it. Like I said, I sing on the choir here at the campus. Oh, fashion and style, yeah, we all, a lot of guys take a pride in that. Uh, the linebacker court, we always kind of have little disputes with the defensive back about who's the more well-dressed, but uh, 
Yeah, whenever I get a chance to dress up, you always see me kind of clean, especially if it's an event where, you know, I'm wearing a suit or a tie. I like to wear sweater vests or cardigans and different things like that. And I like to wear bow ties as well. So you always see uh, me wearing that. And I try to be clean. We always had this little joke where we say, uh, not a stain on us. It's kind of just saying you're clean, not a spot on you, your head to toe. So we'll, you'll always see me kind of give a little shoulder brush uh, when I'm dressed up and time. Um, Oh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, since I've been, you know, a young child, I've watched the NFL and I've admired that. And that's, that's always been, you know, a goal or a dream of mine. If the opportunity came, I would definitely, you know, step forward and take that. Uh, you know, people always ask, where would you want to go? But uh, for me, you know, any opportunity to go to the next level, you take it. It doesn't matter if it's in Buffalo, cold, freezing, or if it's beautiful weather down in uh, Miami. I would take it anywhere. But I would love to be able to, you know, go to the next level. That's always been dreams and aspirations of mine. Uh, I don't really have a funny story right off say that would kind of just jump out, but uh, we have guys who are, we call them comedians. I mean, we have a couple guys in the secondary, a couple guys on the offense that, that they always got jokes and they always got stories. So it's always a lot of humor going around. Uh, Dante Cook, who's also another linebacker on the list from here, he's um, he's quite funny. He's probably be one of the funny guys on our defensive side. Uh, my name is. Jabril Mines, uh, outside linebacker at the College of William and Mary. And uh, I just hope that all the Tribe fans come out this year to show us a lot of support. And we'll do our best, you know, to return our team to the tradition and success it's been known for in, in previous years. And hopefully we'll be able to bring back, you know, another conference ring this year and move forward and actually get a championship ring. First one in our school history.